Hi guys, so I'm here to show you some of the features and basic stuff of QCAD. So you, what you see here is the uh, QCAD uh, software. You have your work area here, the black screen with those tiny dots. So this, that's where you will see your drawings, your lines, arcs, and, and whatnot. On the side over here, this is where you see your tools. So you have your line tool, circle tool, modify tool, dimension tool, so and so forth. What I like about the tools is that it is arranged and organized neatly. So it's not very cluttered. On top here, you would see your basic uh, you know, menu or yeah, basic menu, file, edit. It's very typical of a Windows-based software. And then... And then, of course, you have your view tools here and other tools. So on this other side, you will have your properties. This is how you will change the color, the thickness, the appearance of your objects. Objects will be lines, circles, arcs. Then you also have your layer tool. So I like the interface. It's because it's simple. It's not intimidating when you launch it the first time. It feels comfortable. Uh, last but not the least, you have here the command line, this one, over this area here. So the, the, the area, this portion, this is where the current command is happening, while the upper portion is your history, so the previous command that has happened. So the first thing that I would like to do is probably make a line. So I'll simply select the line tool here, and then it goes through a selection here so you can actually have different kinds of line a two point line line from an angle so and so forth so different ways to make a lines but what i usually use is the two point line so you simply click on that and just basically make a line just like this there so you could like you know do many things so to end the the line command you simply press escape or i think you simply need to double click the right mouse and it ends the command so so this is the back button to go back to your main tools so i'll just delete that in reality whenever you do you know actual drafting you must actually specify the length of the line the radiuses of the circles and the very specific details so example if i'm gonna make a line the line has to have a specific length uh, let's say again line tool i start here let's say i make a line uh 10 millimeter enter there and then i can position it vertically and then i let's say 20 mm enter horizontally 10 mm and then i close it down here and then double click the right mouse button to end the command so i made a rectangle with a height of 20 mm and a width of 10 mm assuming that i'm using a millimeter units so that's how specific you should be whenever you do drafting let's say i want to put a circle here Let's say, let's place it like that. So I'm just using the grid, using the line tool again. So let's say this is something like this. And then uh, I'll put a hidden line here. I'll change that to hidden line later. There. Uh, probably, let's also put a center line here. Yeah. So let's say this is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making, let's say, a technical drawing for a simple block with a hole at the middle with a certain thickness like this. So you can simply change the line type by using the properties editor. So for example, I want to make this a center. I simply select that uh, center. Maybe I need to use a smaller center line. There, center line. This one, I can make this two. I can make them... Uh, line type make maybe like make them hidden line 
So just look for those hidden, maybe hidden 0.5 there. You can also change the, the line thickness. Let's say I select all of these uh, lines here. I want them to be thicker as compared to the other. So you could change the line width. Let's say let's choose 0 0.5 there. So they're now thicker. Now let's add in some dimensions. So this is the dimension tool. And then you have several dimension types. So this is, uh, I think, aligned, rotated, horizontal, vertical. So for this particular case, we simply need to specify uh, that. Ito. And then for the height, I have to use the horizontal dimension, 20 mm. Of course, I need to specify the, the distance of the hole. And also its center. So for that, I need to use this dimension tool to specify 5 mm. So now I have a simple uh, technical drawing. But what I notice is that the dimensions is quite big as compared to the figure. So you could change that easily. I think you can do that in the uh, drawing preference. And then you simply go to your uh, dimension setting and you just change your size scale factor. Let's say, let's choose 0.5. Apply. Then you will notice that all the dimensions has changed. It's now smaller. So this one looks better. It doesn't look uh, too crowded. So let's put the 5mm there. Let's move this a little downwards here so that has a nice gap between that 5 mm and that's it i think we need to put like a center line here or a center mark because uh, for circles you must always have a center mark there then we just simply select those two lines there and make them line type make them center i think i use 0.5 there so now we get this nice, so we can move that here. And then this one, we can also move it here, there. Zoom out, there. So now we have a nice drawing. So for QCAD, by the way, it saves files in DXF format. So DXF is like a generic uh, format. Uh, it can be read by almost all CAD softwares, including CNC machines. Last but not the least, let's try to uh, print this in PDF. So print preview. So this is our piece of paper. This is our drawing. So it's not really nice if it's like that. You could uh, auto, auto center it. You could change the scale so that it'll be bigger. Let's say 3 is to 1. Auto center there. So you would see it like that. If you print that in PDF, uh, let's say QCAD uh, first technical drawing. Save. It'll do its thing. Let's check out if it's really if, if it really did that. There. So this is the output. It's very nice, you know, very smooth quality. Line thickness error is good. There's a nice gap here in our dimensions. The size of the center line, you know, is good. Layout of the dimensions is neat. So it's complete. Let's check out the hidden line. So it's hidden line could be improved. It's too small for my taste. But all in all, it is an acceptable drawing. Quite surprised that QCAD is able to do this. So I'll end with that. So I hope that you've uh, learned something. So if you want to try it out, go ahead and download QCAD. Just search for it in the net. Thanks for listening and bye-bye.